can do. You must be careful when sparring. See the scratches on the wood? Greetings, and welcome to my home. For what do you come to my villa? Is he going to do this every time? For what do you come to my vi- Hey, uh, Shodi. Those dreams of yours, they still getting to you? I can deal with the dreams, for better or worse. What makes me sweat is the not knowing. What happens when I stand face to face with my god, and he reveals what he intends? I'm sure I have the perfect gemstone to- Yeah, I've had thoughts like that for a long time. Except now I'm worried about what he intends for the world. Whatever it might be, at least we'll face it together. Last. Akira, I have waited a second lifetime. There you are. And what kept you? Why should I wait so long for Rikuhu's messenger? Should you not be a dwarf? Even dead, I am slighted. Akira, what injustice! But you are here to take me away, are you not? Well, I refuse to go. Never will I move from this place until justice is done. I follow Magrin's way. Yet sickness took me before my time. I died alone and without honors. It must be put right. My body cannot be left here to rot, forgotten. I feel it there like an itch. I have been many things, and in performing my duties, I brought honor to my caste and to my kin. A sea captain, a great explorer, trusted advisor to the queen herself. Now, that is before I left the sea for the mountains to make maps and guide others. Chief navigator, that is what I made of myself. I can see nothing in this place of death but 
distant lights. But I feel I must be close to where I died. I have not taken one step since the darkness came. The sickness. Days of it. Lying in my own filth as the disease withered me. I passed from wakefulness to sleep with every breath. But I knew it once when it was over. Of course. Some kind of mistake was made, and now Magrin will put it right. I thank you. Please, search my home. My body cannot be far. No one to check up on her, I guess. Have you found it? Yes. To think, a Mataru of the Kahanga tribe left to die alone and forgotten. Unthinkable. In life, I would have faced any challenge. Now you are my champion. Take my body to the Temple of Magrin in the Sacred Stair. There is a great fire there that burns eternally. Burn my body there, so that it may be dedicated to Magrin in death. I cannot pass from this life until all is in order. You are a blessing. I would complain that you arrive late, but no matter. Zero done. See what's in here. Hunter. So, it will be you, then. You do not know what I talk of, Akira? Then, I owe you an apology. You do not recognize the great huntress of the archipelago? Ah, the candle of infamy burns too bright and too fast. As Nungata Whale Splitter, I cleared the jungles and seas alike of slippery creatures. I earned my foes later, when I hunted a deadlier prey. Bounties, <laughs> you wild ibex. It's been years since I tossed a harpoon, so now I stay abreast of what bounties need filling. That's Mataru retirement for you. Interested in taking up the trade, are we? I warn you that I deal in the heads of the exceptionally dangerous. A lady needs standards, after all. You assume right, Hunter. Let's cut your teeth on clever Bena, infamous dwarf mystic of the obscured. A scavenger, I say. Picks off those who trust her for an evening, 
And then pockets their coin when she's bled them out. Baina was seen traveling on an island due southwest of Osongo. Ask away, Hunter. I miss traveling across the archipelago, answering to no one but my empty belly and purse. But this is a younger woman's game. Better that I step aside and make way for aspiring killers, Akira. You are a busy man, Akira. I understand this. When you have a head to turn... Do you seek companions? We have many animals on our... Akira. But he pays coin to feed the great eel. <laughs> you songwriters need a guild. He smells one touched by the great eel, does Barati. You are a man who sits across a fire with death, Akira. For glutting mighty Tangaloa and hurling foes into their next life. Barati can offer payment. Coins for feeding hungry gods. Akira, rewarding those who appease the great eel. This is Barati's cause. May the beasts of the Dreaming Lands never know famine. Tangaloa rolls a hungry eye toward Dichila, a Valian captain who scouts for Luminous Adra in sacred lands. Akira, Tangaloa knew it would be so. Dechila sails her voyager Elysio around the waters south of Nikitaka. The great eel hungers for her soul. Ask, but do not keep the great eel waiting. Continue the hunt, good feeder. Tangaloa knows you are devoted to the great meal to come. Return when the kill is complete.
there. Come to have a word? I don't bite, I promise. Yes? Gladly, my friend. Gladly. And how kind of you to ask. I am the youngest son of a noble house. Now, don't make that face. Poor, desperate fool, you must be thinking. Well, waste not your sympathies on me. Truly, I consider it a boon rather than a punishment. All the comfort and none of the responsibility. What's not to like about that? What else brings faraway travelers to the archipelago? Adventure! I've nursed a great love for heroic tales since my boyhood. As I was loafing about my father's estate, I thought, Well, Gervard, isn't it time you made a name for yourself as well? So here I am! And though I dare say I'm little use in a fist fight, I can do a fair bit of magic and draw a lovely map, so I've taken to charting the interior wilderness of the Deadfire's larger islands. Ah, but it's worth it for the stories I'll one day have to tell. But truly, if I could only inspire others as I myself have been inspired by those old tales, why, it would be marvelous. Anyway, enough of my prattling. Surely you've other things to do. Oh, it would be my absolute pleasure. Uh, for a price, of course. Three thousand copper? Very well. While I am flattered by the esteemed Hazanui's confidence, I must wonder how my people are meant to have destroyed an entire colony overnight. You tell us. It's no coincidence that your outpost at Port Maje survived the recent storm. You speak as if I could command the tides. While you are casting your blame in a wide net, why not look to our Kahunga allies? We do not share their talent for shaping water. I say our guest forgets himself. Brother, stand down. You are the one who mistakes my throne room for a sparring arena. I say this is beneath us. An interesting visitor in difficult times. You cannot be here to deliver a favorable omen. Allow me to apologize as I toss you before the wolves. This one is a watcher blessed by Tangaloa. I suspect that many of our questions about Hasongo will soon be answered. What is this? Valian blood still stains the floors of our offices, and yet this man walks freely into the palace. We assembled to discuss the darkening of Hasongo, one of Rawatai's colonies. Watcher, it seems you have the floor. Huh. What sailor's tale is this? 
There's no sane explanation for what's been happening. You keep waiting for one, it'll be too late. Does tilling the soils of the Eastern Reach drive all men mad? You sound as crazy as the Dawnstar Dreamers. Have you not heard the rumors, Karu? An Adra Colossus marching across the sea. Sailor tales, but credible ones. Ganta Nicese. I'm acquainted with the Watcher of Cadnua from my assignments in Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. Tiverus? It explains the colorful nature of your reports. I have seen things with him that are not even told in the most outlandish of sailors' tales. And I'm supposed to take two Valians at their word? How came a Watcher from half the world away to be involved in these... happenings? Enlighten the court. The Lady of Doors must have great confidence in you. Tracking down a god who stands as tall as a mountain, a fisherman with poor eyesight could do this. My priests will trip over their feet to interpret his divine plan. Watcher, can you cut through the din and tell for what he comes to the dead fire? How resourceful of you. The eyes are studded with enough luminous Adra to bankroll an economy. I believe our course is clear. We will send the Watcher to Hisongo. Set sail to the west of Nekataka. I would tell you to keep a weather eye out for a lighthouse, but the God of Light did not appreciate competition. Something to add, Hazanui? You have an eager look about you. She believes herself entitled to my ear, I say. Only that Hasongo is a Rawatayan outpost. It would be useful for the Watcher to take one of ours along. Ma'am? Maya's an expert sailor and a better sharpshooter. The best the Brass Citadel has to offer. Whatever comes your way, she'll see it first. If it gets me and Ashiza out of diplomat duty, we'd set sail with a drunk scolder at the helm. And shut us out entirely? We have every right to know of any hazards in these waters. Palagina, go with the Watcher. See that the Republics are served in this investigation. Ah, Your Excellency. Pamed Kong Swalias. That will be enough parading of champions for now. I'm certain that our guest knows how to assemble a crew. Say the word and I'll shoot the tip off a of green boy's nose. I believe I have proven to be a competent ally in the past, Watcher. But I cannot compel you to take me to Hasongo. I hope that time will show you that the Republics can be valuable allies in Deadfire. But this is unacceptable. How are we to protect the company's investments if we cannot... Calm down, Nero. I'm sure you'll get one of your spies in place eventually. In the meantime, Watcher, I hope you'll meet me in the Brass Citadel. There's more for us to discuss among friendlier company. I believe we are finished here. Aruihi? Aren't we popular? Take care at Hasongo. The dead fire was overfull before Aethus blundered in. Your allies will use you toward any end. Do not give your trust lightly. I say it is beyond time our guests lick their wounds somewhere else. Let's speak. While we have the chance.
Seraphin, thought we agreed you'd stay out of my head. Oh, I weren't in your head, lad. You fail. Hey, look who it is. Would be a fool and an half not to make sure them thoughts ain't full up of trouble. <laughs> 